Now that we've got the Pulsar installed on this 2018 JL, we're going to move to the run position. It's important to note that does not mean start the engine. That is the key cycle just prior to starting. So here we're going to tap twice to bring us to the run position. To make sure that our power levels are going to be broadcast on the dash itself, we want to navigate to the audio menu here. You're going to use the left-hand side of your steering column to navigate through those menu options. So what we'll do here is get back up to audio and we want to press cancel and you'll see that our settings are now being broadcast on the dash. From here you can cycle through any of your uh, on dash menu options and as you're driving you can use your set plus and set minus buttons and you'll notice that you'll see those power levels cycling through between stock, economy, tow and performance. So from here, if you haven't done anything with your tires or your gears, you can hit the road, go give Pulsar uh, a shot. Uh, if you have upgraded your tires or uh, added aftermarket gears, you are going to want to go back into the audio menu and make sure that you're setting the correct tire size and gear ratios. We're going to navigate here to the audio menu. And when we get there, what we're going to do is press and hold cancel for five seconds. From here, we have our options to turn TPMS completely off. We are not going to do that here. This is where accelerator pedal position will come into play to help you set these features. So no press will be the default no. If I do want to set TPMS off, I would press on the accelerator. Once I've come to the uh, selection that I want to move forward with, I need to set that. So I'll press on the right-hand side here, the set plus. Do I want to adjust TPMS? Right now, I don't want to do that. This uh, Pulsar does give you the option to do that between 22 and 64 PSI. Uh, again, you're setting the thres threshold in which the TPMS light will broadcast on your dash. So we are not going to set that at this time. And now we've moved on to tire size. Uh, this is a stock JL. We haven't done any uh, tires here yet, uh, but let's say we put 33 inch tires on the JL. I'm going to press to the accelerator to select yes and then hit set plus. And now it's going to ask me if I want to set that in English or metric again, selecting between the two on the pedal position. I'm going to select English and I want to go with 33 inch tires. Uh, this JL will allow you to set the tires between 20 and 40 inches. So again, accelerator pedal position, the default would be 2, a full press would be 4. I want 33s, so I'm going to find the sweet spot in the middle and set. I'm going to let go here. Now let's say I've got 33s and by accident I selected 35s. Okay, rather than cycling through the full menu again, you can hit the set minus button to go back to that and dial it back to 33. I will now hit set. I'll let go to go to zero, and I'm ready to go. Axle ratio here. Uh, the Pulsar for the JL Wrangler will allow you to set between 2 and 599. Uh, for the purpose of this, let's go ahead and select yes that we do want, axle gear ratios, and let's say we do want 538s. So let's hit set. I will depress off the accelerator to get to three. Oh, I messed up. Let's go back. There I go. Press to eight. Set. And now it'll allow me to program. No press on the accelerator is no. A full press was yes. I do want to go ahead and do that, and you'll hit your set plus button. And you'll see here that this will take approximately 10 seconds. It's very quick. And again, it's saving all those settings into the vehicle so your speedo is corrected, your shift patterns are going to be accounted for with your aftermarket gears, and then obviously you'll still have your power levels on top of this. Now we can turn the key off and we're ready to go. So one of the really cool settings that the Pulsar has for the 18 and 19 JL Wrangler is the option to manage your auto start stop feature which if you have one of these jeeps you're probably very familiar with that 
let's go ahead and turn the Jeep on. What you'll notice uh, currently if you're not running Pulsar is that uh, you can manage this as you're driving, but the setting is not remembered by the Jeep. And so when you start the Jeep back up, the auto start stop is on. Well, what Pulsar does is it'll actually remember the setting. And the next time you start the Jeep, it'll be off. So if you don't like auto start stop, uh, you prefer not to use it if you're taking long trips or if you're you know, even driving around the city and doing a lot of frequent stopping and going. Uh, the Pulsar will remember that setting. It's just a nice convenience factor and it's something that the Pulsar offers you uh, that's quite simply as simple as hitting the button one time and having that setting uh, remembered. Well, there you have it. To find out more about features and functionality of the brand new Pulsar for 2018 newer JL Jeep Wranglers, check us out online. Go to DiabloSport.com.